as a carer, I think this is the best thing that's been brought up this. So it's completely different from a care home coming into something like this. Because this is more independent, simple things like as they're making a cup of tea, we'll try and promote them to just do that. It's really rewarding. This is the beauty of extra care where it's about not doing for, but doing with. Just to keep them engaged and involved and to help to re-able them so that with time we would hope that that customer would be re-abled to be able to undertake those tasks for themselves to regain that confidence, to regain their abilities that they've lost. And we have many instances where uh, you know, perhaps 50 to 60% of our customers have been re-abled in certain ways. Six months ago, we didn't think that some of the people would be able to walk, but carers walk with them along the corridors of the building. That's going to help them long-term and it's giving them a little bit more independence than they had maybe when they first came in. I mean, we've just had a lady and she was a bit nervous at first and a bit obviously shaky. And now she's settled really down and she doesn't take half of the time she does and she doesn't need us for what she did. So it's getting settled here, but she always says well, everyone's nice. She doesn't have a bad word to say about anyone, which obviously means some are good. We're doing some are right. <laughs> They get the familiarity of seeing the carers on site. So even if they don't actually have them at the moment, they're going to build a relationship with them, even if it's just a hello in the morning or the afternoon or uh, standing in the lift with somebody, they get to know them. It's, you know, through us being here on site, that bond can already start to grow before they actually need any care. Um, I still see them around, even though my husband died in December. Sometimes they bang on the window and they go past and they shout to me, how are you? You know, it's lovely, very friendly. He used to like seeing them, that was the point. And, well, I did. They were, they were you know, part of the family, really. <laughs> I think it's very hard to address people's quality of life when you just visit, but when you're part of their lives, and they're part of yours, then it is easier to get quality of life, which brings all the benefits of extra care. I mean, I firmly believe that extra care, when done well, prolongs people's quality of life and their well-being, because it's greater than some of its parts. A really wonderful thing happened here, and um, there was a man who came who lives alone with dementia, um, and he was very unsettled. But one of the carers became aware that he was a very skilled artist, and now he actually gives painting classes. I mean, that, that recognition, and she cared enough to get him involved in a way that was meaningful for him. There isn't a price you can put on that. She, she really performed a miracle, it was amazing. It's the contact and, and the quality of the time you spend with them, not necessarily what you're doing for them, but um, just the fact that you're there. So it's very rewarding work and um, yeah, I enjoy it. Wouldn't still be doing it otherwise. <laughs> the quality of care in, in retirement communities is actually higher than in the community. So we looked at the domiciliary care delivered by our members and we found that 90% of that is rated good or better um, by CQC. And the equivalent for I should say, you know, domiciliary care in the community is, I think, in the high 70s. So actually, it's, it, it reduces the needs for care. You can deliver the care that has to be delivered more effectively, and you can do it at a higher quality. It, it offers us a great deal of flexibility. The care plans are tailored to their individual needs rather than um, just assuming that, you know, it's a morning call, so they want breakfast. Mrs. Smith may not want breakfast this morning, but we'll come back later and, and do that for her when she's feeling a bit more like it. it we can work uh, proactively with the needs of the people who live here. Once it's written, it's not set in stone, it is a personal care plan devised for themselves and it changes with them. So as your needs change, so does the plan. For me, I find, find it a lot better. We had an assessment from the Borough Council and uh, we've never looked back. We've, we quite enjoy looking forward to them coming in. Yeah. I didn't like it at first, because no. I'd always help other people, not 
you know, but now I love it. You mm. know, we have a good old natural and really mm. nice. We've had people come in um, that have been in residential uh, because they've been unwell and then they've been housed here and the first few weeks have been really rocky but actually after them rocky few weeks to see them blossom in their own homes is just, it's just amazing. To see them build relationships with other service users it's, it's really nice, it's really nice. Extra care is a community as well. It's absolutely vital that it's a community, that there's one provider, that there is a collective interest in them all living in this place, the community and getting better and, and that's that's the whole thing. The provider, the landlord, the people who live there, their families, they all are what make an extra care scheme. I've got a good team of, of carers. It's a nice place to work. Uh, it's, it's, I always start with it's a nice place to live, which in turn makes it easier for our carers to provide the care. They have good working relationships with the people who live here which in turn makes it much, much more manageable. It, you know, it's a priceless job. It's the most rewarding job, it really is. And every day you know you make a difference to somebody's life, you really do. And I don't think there's no other job that can give you that satisfaction. I think that's really important because if we have happy staff, we have happy residents. You've got to have a lot of empathy, a really good sense of humour and honesty if you like and an openness you need to be honest with yourself in what you can give and you get the responses back and that's what makes it worthwhile especially in here everyone always says you treat them how you would treat your family and i think that's the main thing you're always going to have your downs and your ups because it's it's very emotional sometimes um but we are bringing joy into their lives i would think well i hope so anyways we, are in, we get brought into their lives, and which is a really nice thing to be part of. They do a good job. I mean, some, some people don't appreciate what they do, I don't think. Not really. But we did. <laughs>